Are buttons, pockets, and zippers giving you a hard time on the heat press? Well, stay tuned, because we're not only going to show you how to work around those, but also turn them into unique designs to knock your client's socks off. Welcome to another episode of Decoration Mess. I'm Stefan Baer from SNS Activewear, and I am joining Josh Ellsworth from Stalls. So happy to be here, and even more happier of all the feedback we've received from customers on what else we can bring you. So today we're going to talk about challenges like zippers and shirts that have way too many buttons and youth items. Where do I? Where can I bring some life in the youth and make it fun and put some fun placements together? So. Um, we're in studio and I've noticed a machine that I haven't seen before. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, we're stepping up the challenges so we have to bring a new machine to the party. Uh, this is yeah. our Hotronics Fusion IQ. So it's the matching press to our 360 IQ that we use in a lot of the episodes. And what I love about this one is it's a swing away heat oh, press. Cool. And so that gives a decorator completely heat free workspace to be able to accommodate some of these unique placements, challenging nice. print locations. Um, and so it's just a little easier to operate from that standpoint. And in the cantilever design, which is the signature of all the stalls heat presses, um, this one has a little narrower of a throat. And we'll show you that on the grand finale application and why that's useful. Yeah. Um, but we're going to start with, um, it's a really cool piece. Nice. Yes, this is the um, independent trading company. This is their unisex varsity jacket. So this is a 10 ounce piece. Right. And 70-30, um, 70% cotton, but 100% cotton facing. And the area we're going to concentrate on is what do I do with the kissing zipper? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So accommodating a zipper and wanting to really print across that front location, it's not uncommon. We see it on a lot of garments, uh, especially uh, this one where you're dealing with a uh, metal zipper. Um, rather than a plastic zipper. So that gives us a little more flexibility, but you can do either on a heat press. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna show you, the, the first thing we would think to do is to split that garment open and load it onto the press. That's pretty typical in all of our applications. Now, the challenge with that is, is we have a firm density surface on the bottom of the heat press, which is great, um, but that zipper is not gonna sink down in at all. And so as we place a decoration location right next to where the zipper um, kisses, we are going to get areas of pressure dropout. Okay. And so we need to address that in, in some way to make sure we get even pressure, even on this edge close to the zipper. And so we're going to get a durable result. And so there is a solution for that. And if you've been following along the episode, you, you may know for the sure. answer. It's a heat <laughs> press pillow. Yeah. Right. And so a couple little tips on the heat press pillow. This is our full uh, size. It just lays right on top of the platen. If you're doing a ton of these, a uh, little tip is I actually like to seal it into the platen oh, underneath wow. the cover. And so you don't have to fiddle with it as much. You can kind of lock it in underneath there. Uh, but let's just lay that into place since we're going to decorate one here on air. And then I'm going to split cool. my garment open again and slide it on. Okay, so now uh, what I'm looking, I caught a little bit on a the stand there. Sure. So let me just adjust that. I'm, I want to jump in here, but <laughs> I know not to touch anything. You know? <laughs> At least don't touch the top of the heat press. Yep. That part's hot. Um, and so now... I have this uh, zipper that's going to sink down in got to it. the surface, right? And so I so get now it's sealing it in and the zipper's dropping down. You got Perfect. it. Now, of course, when you add extra thickness to your heat press pressing area, you want to make sure that when you lock your machine down, that you're getting an accurate pressure. In this case, we're at a six pressure, a five, six pressure. It says it right on the digital display, the touchscreen controller. Very cool. Um, and that's great. And so I like that gets a preheat anyways on this cotton face. There's a lot of moisture touch. You can feel the moisture coming out of it. Yeah, no Like kidding. it's actually wet to the hand. And so oh, I wow. want, yeah, I want to yeah. get rid of that moisture. So I'm actually going to preheat it for a little longer because it's holding a lot okay. of moisture in it. Um, just to pull that out because that gives us a nice clean pressing area with which to Great uh, do tip. our application. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. And so doing something unique here is we have um, a product called Permatwill, okay? Um, we've already created it in the split front style. Wow. I was just about to ask the question, like you can order it just like this. Yeah, absolutely. And I wouldn't waste the time trying to predict the, the gap of your zipper. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. We're just going to use scissors when it comes in. It'll be split for you. And we're just going to slice that apart. 
But here, the reason I want to order it done like this is the edge of this twill is laser cut. Okay. And so it's going to seal the edge. So I don't want to just cut through the twill and order sure. one solid logo because then the edge would fray. Um, and so now I'll be able to uh, place my design and I'm bringing it right next to the seam. I see. Because like when I first looked at it, I was like, why would you cut it? But now once you've cut it, you can align them exactly how you need them to align. Yeah, absolutely. And, and do one side at a time. I'm learning. Yep. So I like it. Just going like to position that in there, yeah. right? Um, I can bring it in over the seam if I want, um, or I can leave the gap of the zipper. That's really a design preference, I would say. Um, okay. um, I like to bring it here and leave just a little bit of space for the zipper to travel through. For sure. Uh, without having to impact that. And we're doing a two-layer application. And so I'm going to start by pressing the background layer down first. And so... We're at, um, for this Permatwill product, which is a unique uh, heat applied only fabric, I'm pressing it 350 degrees. My background layer is just gonna get tacked on there for 10 seconds. And then I'm going to do the second layer for a complete 30 second application. So wow. this is just one product. You can use a lot of different products uh, on uh, this fabric. Cotton is pretty flexible as far as what you can apply to it. Again, um, it's so easy taking that off. Yeah, it really is. And now, uh-oh, looks like I positioned this on the wrong side of my carrier. So I am going to just try to work this out. And so there is a wrong and a right side uh, to this backing. And oh I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a new one. I've ruined that. So that's a, that's a live lesson. So we have the waxy side of the okay. backing that you're to position that too. I just put it on the wrong side. And so I could work that and, and get it, but the paper is tearing. Sure. So Good news is I have look at this another one. Always be prepared. Boom! Here we I go. Love it. <laughs> we are we are recording live. We don't like to stage these episodes, so this happens. All right. So now I'm just going to trim that one in the same way. In the foreground is actually much easier uh, to line up because I already have the background with which to uh, work off of. So you'll see it just positions right in there. Wow! This is already developing into something really nice. So, and that's adhesive too. So once you have it lined up, you just press down on it lightly and yeah, it's, you're in it. Yeah, 20 seconds for your second layer. Wow. So you just cover it. I'm sorry, excuse me, 30 seconds for your second layer, 350 degrees. And so now the heat is not only traveling through the adhesive between the two layers of twill, but it's getting through both layers of twill to the background to make sure you get a nice good bond to the fabric. And look, we've wash tested all of the products as these applications. You can have confidence that this is going to outlast the garment that you're applying it to. Wow. Well, it's so unique because, I mean, this piece, this varsity jacket, right, is, you know, it, it's replacing the Letterman jacket, but in a more casual form. So you have a unisex piece that can be, you know, for any type of school situation or even company anniversary, right? And then you can, you know, add that anniversary year on the sleeve. Wow, this thing is turning out. Um, yeah, very quick, very easy. Uh, I'm gonna show very you. Very clean. You know, it, it's started to lift here. Sure. Right, which means, uh, you see how, like that's what we're watching out for. We're so close to the seam. We want sure. uh, the zipper, we want the zipper to be sinking down in. What that's telling me is I didn't get adequate pressure um, okay. close to that zipper. And so again, no harm in that. I just know that Hey, maybe you want to hit it. Yeah. I want to hit it with some pressure because I didn't have enough pressure on my application. So I would run it through a full additional 30 second cycle to make sure we have a durable completed result. Okay. I'm not going to waste everybody's time watching sure. 30 seconds countdown, but no. you get the point. Yeah. And when it's applied, I mean, you get that fabric texture too. It's a little bit warm to the touch, but a nice twill grain. And this is elevated just like the piece you're decorating. And, and again, this is a, a, like an example of a transfer that this jacket just went from just a 100% cotton facing varsity jacket to now hanging in a retail store. Yeah. Because I mean, this is that, I mean, it's like a jersey, right? Yeah. yeah. And, I, and, and I want you to be careful um, when you're decorating different fabrics is when you're decorating cotton, you pretty much have the range of heat applied products, whether they apply at 350, 365, and you can decorate those. Um, if that were a zip up polyester jacket now yeah. at 350, I'm going to damage that jacket and it's going to scorch. So anytime you're decorating a polyester zip up, make sure you're seeking out those lower temperature heat transfer materials that apply at 300. It'll lower down your choices, but you can still come Great. up with something really cool to elevate that piece. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So speaking of elevated, uh, this is a fun design. I'm really, I'm really yeah, excited no, to do so this So this one. is, um, this is again, independent trading company has done a great job with their pigment dyed series. 
So this is the mid-weight, so it's eight and a half ounces, but this is our youth version. So we wanted to bring this in because it's like, you know, what, what can we do that's really cool to, you know, kind of hit the youth, youth market? Yeah, yeah, and so the pattern doesn't always have to be in your fabric. The pattern can be in the print because the youth market loves pattern and tie-dyes and Great design. Point. So here we have yeah. uh, a tie-dye print that says chillin', and yeah, yeah, we could put this across the front, sure. but how fun would that be for this episode? Yeah. Let's challenge ourselves and actually try to put that into the pocket to make it look like it was designed as part of the garment. Very cool. Okay, so. I'm a, I'm a little intrigued with into the pocket, what that means, but I think we'll see that develop. Yeah, and that takes a little more tailoring on the decorator side. Here's how I'd recommend doing it. Every pocket is just slightly different. And so what you're gonna wanna do is order your full print, the word mark that you're gonna put across, you know, the dozen hoodies or whatever you're decorating, and then you're actually going to trim it to the design of the pocket with scissors. And so when I say that, what I like to do is hold the garment in place and I'm just going to cut along that stitch line, right? And so now I have something that Whoa. kisses perfectly up against that stitch line. And that puts me over here. And so you can think of a school name, you can think of a kid's name. For there sure. are all sorts of opportunities for this application. I feel like I should be helping, but I know I'd probably screw something up. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right, we're good, right? And so now we have something that's a little more integrated. And again, you can play with design size, uh, you can play with the, the word, but the, the concept I wanted to show you here is that, hey, it's possible. Now, the most difficult part, of course, is always removing that back, yeah. as you saw in the last piece. Sure. Um, and then we're going to position it down. It does have a sticky backing uh, to it. So helpful. And that's that's looking good to me. now. Here, here's the thing, when I'm decorating this, yes, I can change out the platen, and that's one of the features of this machine, but you know, I can also just insert a pillow into the garment, okay? And so in this case, I'm just gonna slide it in between the layers, a little bit quicker, a little bit easier for this placement. Make cool. sure I'm feeling and getting pressure everywhere, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. Again, I've adjusted for the heavier pressure that I learned my lesson from the last time. I meant to reduce my heat, um, this product only takes 300 degrees uh, to apply. And the next one I'm gonna do for our grand finale takes 290 degrees. So I'm adjusting it on the touchscreen display here to 290. Um, this will work um, at this application. Sure. Um, but it only takes uh, about 10 seconds. So let's move it down to 10 seconds with my stylus. It's always amazing to me how easy this process is. I mean, it's a touchscreen. We're used to it with all our smartphones, everything, and now you brought it into you know, heat transferring machines. Yeah, it's, it's a, great. Yeah, and not only that, you can program presets as well, just like you have your contacts in your phone, pull up the preset for the tie-dye vinyl, boom. Really? And, and yeah, it'll automatically adjust. It's telling me it needs 14 minutes to cool down, but who wants to wait that long? Let's yeah. give it a shot. We're, we're, we're the expert. Yeah, so, so we're pressing it for the cool. 10 seconds. Uh, if you're becoming an expert yourself by watching this episode, you know just now, I forgot to preheat. That's okay. I feel pretty confident um, in the application on this one, but a preheat certainly is recommended anytime you're doing these fabrics. Uh, we're gonna apply this down, peel the backing. Wow. Too cool. And we have a completed result. Single step application. Too cool. And as long as I'm not seeing any lifting on those edges, you don't need a second hit at all. And we have a completed result. That uh, when you're decorating cotton garments, um, you'll see moisture come out of the garment. Sure. And when moisture returns back to the garment, it will go back to its It'll original color. It'll get the color back. Absolutely. Great point. But pretty cool, soft. So no, super soft. What I loved about this piece was you did everything on this palette. Yeah. Like you you cut, the, it, cut it, put it down, and you just accessorize by bringing in the pillow to make it work for you. Yeah. And, and you, it's done. And you can do yeah. all that. And again, if you want to change the palette, all you're going to do is there's a lever underneath and we're going to slide this off. It's very it's quick easy. and easy to change it. And you know what? I'll leave this off because I'm pretty sure I'm going to cool. need another palette for the uh, next application. So let me very grab cool. that and let's take a look at our grand finale piece and go from there. Wow. So this is a brand new piece from Dry Dock and this is a must see in person. I mean, because it's a 2.8 ounce and it just has a super nice feel to it and it's full, it, it's fully accessorized and that's why it's on the show because it has its challenges, right? Look at all the button detail. Um, you have the sleeve button, you have the vents in the back. It's just, it, the Crossroad is a fantastic shirt and dry duck, when you buy a dry duck piece, you're buying quality. 
and you can see it. I mean, you're holding it, touching it, and feeling it, but they build it for on site, on the work site, and then off the work site. So they're very in tuned with the lifestyle. So you can work on site with this, but then after work, go to a happy hour in the same shirt, right? Yeah, so. yeah. And this piece is, uh, yeah, to say it's challenging uh, yeah. is an understatement. And, you know, just because there is uh, pockets and buttons and all the, you know, the seam structure, which makes it so cool. And so we don't want to dumb down the piece. We want to just understand the right way uh, to decorate these challenging fabrics. And so the different attachments or platens uh, come in a lot of different sizes. Okay. This particular one is a four by four inch size. And so the four by four inch size can just drop in uh, to place. And we're going to try to do a pocket print location. Okay. Now, because the heat is, is cooling down before I start, I'm going to go ahead and just check my pressure on this before I even load the garment. And you can see there's like hardly any pressure there. Yeah, exactly. um, it's reading a zero on the control board. And so to adjust that pressure, we turn this knob clockwise and that lowers this top heater down. And so now when I lock it down, I'm getting a one, one pressure, right? A little bit more. Yeah. Um, now I'm getting a, a two to a three. By the time I throw the thickness of my garment in there, it'll come up to a three or a four. Nice. Now here's the thing I want to point out because this is a common challenge for decorators. When you go to a smaller print surface on the bottom platen, what you have is that pressure condensing down on a very small area. Got it. So where the manufacturer like us would call for a medium to firm pressure, that doesn't mean that's that's across the full 16 by 20 platen. So when we reduce the size of our print area down, you see a lot of scorching typically. So make sure you're just doing more like a, a two to a three Ease on the it. pressure. Yeah. Right. And just so we're not going to damage this. Now we're going to do a little fast forward here so this can cool down for eight minutes and then we'll load our garment. Okay, so our machine has cooled down to 290 degrees, which is where I want to be at because we are going to bring in another great product, which is a direct-to-film transfer. We call it Ultra Color Max. Wow, okay. Right? And so we're going to be using it to decorate this piece. Uh, again, we've loaded this 4x4 four four inch uh, platen, and uh, I'm going to do a pocket print location. And the reason I chose the 4x4 four four is because it fits perfectly into this pocket location. Look at that, yeah. And gets rid of all this. And, and you might think that's just uh, happenstance, but no, this 4x4 four four hits a lot of tight print locations on a lot of different garments, so it's a great tool to have in the toolbox. Um, I still have layers here and like you're feeling like wrinkling behind this. Um, and so I'm actually going to open up the piece and thread Very it cool. on, right? Um, and so let's just get to the zone that we want to print. I have to do a little so bit. So nice of... packaging as well from Dry Duck. Yeah, so, beautiful. You know, collar stays and everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it ready. So let's just bring that in there, right? And now Very I'm down nice. to a nice uh, single ply. Uh, or actually two ply, still have the two pocket, ply. but it, you know, feeling inside of here, it's not going to stick together. Okay. It's not like a bag pocket where I need to separate sure. it so it doesn't adhere to itself. Yeah, that was going to be my question because I know we've separated it in the past. Yeah, you can if you want, but it's not going to hurt anything because it's, it's a really thin material flat there. Too. Yeah, so let's preheat this one just for a few seconds. So you brought up direct to film, which I find fascinating because I mean, you can do more colors than what's in this logo. Yeah, right? so there's so. a couple of big advantages here I want you to take note of um, if you're watching this episode. One is we have a five color logo with fine detail, free floating elements to that logo, and we don't have any um, outline to it as we'll see in the finished result. And so now with heat printing and the advancements in Ultra Color Max direct to film transfers, we can do any logo, any detail, yeah any amount of colors, we can just simplify it and say yes to the job and actually be able to do it in a print on demand, low quantity fashion. Oh, that's key. 12 seconds, 290 degrees. And so it's quick. It's easy. You bring up print on demand. I mean, with 12 seconds. Oh, wow. Hot peel. I mean, yeah. Now, um, no scorching at all. You know, the 290 degree advantage. And so we're just getting a really nice, wow. clean look here. Now, and that is the clean, like with the quality of this shirt, you want to have a logo that matches, yeah. right? And this application is just, oh man, it's super clean. It just brings up the, the subject. So many people always ask, where else could you do it, right? And where have you seen, like, you know, I've been in the back of the house. There's a lot going on back there. Right. What are people like willing to do? Because traditionally it's like, okay, left chest, let's start there. But, you know, I want to do the cuff or they see the collar on the yeah. TV with all the right. sponsorships and... Yeah, you so know. so when, when we deal with that, so I just want to show you quickly that we can hit nearly any location. You want to do uh, bicep, top sleeve, no problem. no problem. 
you want to do uh, cuff, you know, we're going to split the buttons out of there and, and, and thread it on, but no problem either, wow. right? So, so many locations, but let's challenge ourselves. I like the collar concept because yeah. you're seeing that a lot. Um, and so we're just going to work to get this collar up onto the location. Actually, it has a nice button closure here. Yep. Quality. Yeah. And we'll, we'll throw that up on the location. I'm going to um, preheat. Just set it down. Yeah, just to get the, the moisture out of that and make sure I have a nice flat printing surface. I need that for a lot of my shirts every morning. But, you know. <laughs> and let me, uh, I'll just grab, you know, a small branding detail. You, do, you can do the brand icon, the logo. I'm going to grab the uh, slightly larger one here. The only thing I'm getting kind of turned upside down on is the placement, right? And making sure, sure. I hit it right, because I don't want it to be upside down. So that's, you know, just take a little time to think through, making sure it's getting pressure on the edges. I like it. Now we're branding the collar. Wow, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, easy. Again, with, with this transfer product, it is not expensive to do small logos. It really lends itself to small logos. So adding additional brand placement not only is going to work for the brand, so you're getting a cooler piece, sure. increased visibility, but it's gonna work for your profit equation because you can add these for very little time, very little cost in any location. Something I noticed about this piece that I wanted to conquer, not sure what you call this part, but this, this area yeah, where the we're- the sleeve holder. Yeah. yeah, the sleeve holder, yeah. we're rolling up the sleeves and so maybe I wanna do that. And Let's so- Let's do it. Well, that's easy, right? We're just gonna unbutton it. going to make sure the garment's supported so that's not sliding off, right? And so I'm just gonna preheat, make sure you don't lock it down on your hand. Exactly. Right, but it's well below the heater, so I'm not worried about that. And again, you can come out with like little jigs and devices to hold this on there so you're not fighting with it. Um, and then let's go ahead and just take this small text, pop it into place. You said so there's nothing, yeah, you don't have to peel, it's just like- Details. Ready to go. Yeah, just little tasteful details are gonna add so much elevation to this branding and this piece that people are going to be able to pay more for it, wanna pay sure. more for it. You know, and we're talking literally pennies with another logo location that goes Look on that. there. So huh. this brings up a great point. So if you're the decorator, right? And you have a big customer like Mount Tech yep. and you want to get in front of them, what better, use of a heat transfer and then direct to film to build this shirt. And then at your next meeting, you're presenting that sample going, hey, what do you think about this idea? What do you think about that idea? You know, and then, yeah, go for the cuff, right? I mean, Josh, we, how many minutes did that just take us? So now you're delivering something that they, in their head, they're already owning, right? And it's just, I love this. Yeah, and no feel to it, I mean. yeah. It just blends That's right so with the cool. garment. And so you get something soft, you get something easy. I'll tell you what, the industry has been waiting yeah. on a decoration technology like this. And so not only can you create cool looks and unique branding locations with heat printing, but you saw we can be creative um, and accommodate uh, on the pocket of a hoodie to make look it look like it's manufactured with the yeah. piece. Um, across the kissing zipper, so many different applications that you can execute with the heat press in your business. I think it's awesome. And I mean, once again, Josh, thank you. I mean, we've con conquered the kissing zipper. We created a new child youth piece that's interesting. And then most importantly, taking a premium piece like this crossroad from Dry Duck, and I mean, we put three decorations on it, just like that. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, this is awesome. Um, so thank you for always being so creative and bringing these great machines and putting them to work. And, you know, we covered again, once again, some great products. So if you have, want any of that information, those links are uh, listed below. And um, we'll see you on the next episode. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.